Yo guys, welcome to Ashton Fitness and welcome to the first episode of Road to VSIT. This is going to be a video series basically just showing you how I train for a specific skill. Uh, in this case, it's going to be the VSIT, so I'm going to be showing you exactly how I train for the VSIT, like all of my sets and reps and all this kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, just showing you guys exactly the way that I approach my training and how I train for certain calisthenic skills. And I'm going to be doing this for other calisthenic skills as well. So this is just the beginning. I wish that I had started this sooner because uh, this, well, I've been training the VSIT for maybe a month or two now um, and I've actually uh, I'm in a challenge with uh, I'll say her Instagram handle rather than her name but yoga with olive um, I, I challenged her to a, a challenge to learn the v-sit in I think it was three months or something on Instagram so I'm currently in a competition with her this is the last month we've just got under a month left so uh, I want to see how far I can progress with my v-sit uh, because I want to get that Gabo Satono Gabo Satono Satono I don't know how you pronounce his last name but Gabo, everyone knows Gabo in the calisthenics world, like he is a beast and he's got an immaculate visa and I really want to get a visa like that. So the goal is to try and get as close uh, as possible to Gabo's visa. If not Gabo's visa, I really want to get that eventually. So let's see how, uh, how far I can do that within a month because uh, we got a month left of the competition. This video series was actually uh, inspired by a couple of my followers because as you guys know, I had a uh, motorbike accident and I completely destroyed my shoulder. I couldn't work out for seven months or so. So I posted a video to my Instagram showing just how bad my push-ups were after the accident. Like I couldn't even, I think I've got the clip. If I do, then I'll be playing it now. But um, I, I, I couldn't even like, I couldn't even initiate the movement before it got super, super painful. I couldn't go down at all. And then uh, a couple months later, I posted a video of my kind of push-up progress and where I'm at at the moment. It's still not perfect, but it's much better than it was. But um, a couple of my followers reached out and said that it was really inspiring to them to see kind of like the progress. So that kind of sparked this idea. And I was like, actually, I guess a lot of people, including those people who reached out to me, would find like a video series showing how I train for a specific skill, very kind of motivational and inspiring. So I definitely wanted to do this to basically just try and motivate you guys to continue your training. And it just helps to see how someone else approaches their training as well, because I've kind of got my own training style. So maybe some of the things that I share with you will help you with your training so that is the goal of this kind of series obviously the main goal is to actually achieve the skill and like I said I'm going to do this for a couple more calisthenic skills as well um, but the uh, obviously the the most important thing is that you guys get motivated you guys learn from these videos about how to approach your training and how to learn skills more effectively because I think I've got a pretty good method when it comes to learning skills like I can learn skills pretty quickly now so uh, yeah I think what I've kind of managed to to get is is pretty good so i really want to share that with you guys so that you guys can improve your own calisthenics training as well so yes let's begin the video we're going to begin with some stretches and i'm basically just going to talk over the video i'm not going to script this because normally i script the videos just so that i can convey the information and the tips as clearly and effectively as possible but with this kind of style of uh, video because it's more of like a vlog kind of style basically what i just want to do is just freestyle it um so i will just be talking over the clips and uh, explaining what i'm doing why i'm doing it etc so that you guys can kind of learn and see why i'm doing certain things and how i'm approaching things so yeah hope you enjoy the video subscribe turn on post notifications as always and yes let's get it a hey. So I'm just starting things off with some windmills, just trying to warm up the shoulders, get everything nice and loose, get the blood flowing to them. Um, it's super important to warm up your shoulders because it's a very delicate joint, so uh, it's very easy to injure them. So that's why I spend a lot of time just warming up, stretching before a workout, um, because yeah, I've had loads of injuries and I'm sure if you've had an injury, you know how frustrating it can be. So you can just avoid that altogether by just spending a little bit of time stretching at the beginning um, to avoid all of that. Uh, here I'm just stretching out my lats and my triceps. Um, this this is kind of more of a tricep stretch but if you bend over to one side you can also stretch out your uh, your lats um, again I'm just showing that position because I found that if you turn your palm out uh, you'll be able to stretch out your triceps a little bit more um, so yeah that's a really good one if you uh, find it difficult to stretch out your triceps in that position you can just do that and that will give it an extra little bit of a stretch here I'm just doing some trunk twists again just making the mind muscle connection stretching out my upper back lats uh, also making sure that my core is nice and warm because um, that will that movement alone will just stretch uh, st uh, warm up your core um, here I'm just 
stretching out my neck, which for me is super important because if I don't do that, then I will just get, I will pull muscles in my neck and I'll pull muscles in my back. Um, so yeah, it's super important to stretch out your neck um, because you use that a lot, especially if you're tensing up. Um, <laughs> there's a little zoom in for you there. Hmm, look at that lovely face. Um, but yeah, uh, it's just very important to stretch out your neck. Uh, now I'm getting carried away and just doing some flexing. Uh, so here I'm doing some push-up pluses or scapula protractions. Uh, basically, again, just warming up my scapula because um, I've still got this uh, a little bit of a lingering shoulder injury uh, from the motorbike accident that I had. So basically, I'm just doing these just to make sure that everything's nice and warmed up because your scapula does control a lot of your shoulder movement. Um, so that's why it's important to warm up your scapula as well because the V sit and the L sit is very intense on the shoulders um, amongst other things like the triceps and everything else. So it's important just to warm that all up. So. Uh, here I am just uh, again doing a little bit more of a warm up by holding some L sits, uh, not for very long, literally just to warm up the, the shoulders, triceps, chest, core, uh, wrists. And basically what I'm doing is, yeah, just trying to make sure that everything's nice and warm in preparation for this first set, because this first set is, I'm basically just going all out. I'm going for the hardest uh, variation of the V-sit that I can hold. Um, the reason why I do this is just because um, I find that this is the most effective way to train. Um, if you start with the hardest variations of an exercise that you can do, then it basically just conditions your muscles to get used to performing that, so that next time when you come to train it uh, your muscles will be like okay we've done this before we're going to be a little bit more used to this this time um, so it just really helps to start with the hardest variations first um, and then you work your way down I call these work down sets so there's my cat she's just checking out the little weird contraption that I got going on here um, but yeah uh, it's this is the way that I train um, and I find that I make the most progress this way which is why it's really important to stretch at the beginning because if you're going all out and you're doing your hardest variation first then you have to be warm uh, to do that because it will be very intense on your muscles and your tendons. So make sure you do stretch and warm up. So I'm doing five sets of, ooh, struggling there. <laughs> uh, I'm doing five sets of these uh, maximum V-sit holds. Um, again, that's the hardest variation I can do and I'm just trying to hold it for the maximum amount of time that I can. Um, so once I've done five sets of those, then I will do, uh, I think I did about four sets of these, but these are V-sit kickouts. Uh, so basically, um, basically what I'm trying to do is once I get too fatigued to hold the V-sit, then I do these V-sit kickouts. So basically I'm just training the muscles to get used to going in and out of that position. Um, I can't hold it any anymore for any kind of, with any good form. So this basically just allows me to get back into that position um, and hold it for a split second and then draw my legs back um, while still maintaining all the necessary tension on the on the triceps, on the shoulders, on the core, um, on the hip flexors to strengthen that V-sit. So this is just a V-sit strengthening exercise. Um, and again, it's just training all the relevant muscles involved in holding the V-sit. Um, so now uh, I'm moving on to some L-sits. I'm timing my L-sits. Um, so again, I'm using this work down set philosophy. So I started with the hardest exercise, which was the V sit. And I was trying to hold that for as long as possible. Did five sets of those, rested for a minute in between. Then I did the uh, V sit kickouts. And now I'm doing uh, L sits because the V sit kick kickouts were slightly easier than the V sit hold. And the L sit is slightly easier than the V sit kickouts for me. So I'm just working my way down. I'm doing easier exercises as the workout progresses. Um, and as my muscles fatigue more um, because obviously if you start with your uh, hardest exercise um, you're going to be too fatigued to obviously continue doing that later on down the line so I work down which is why I call them work down sets I'm struggling there boy um, but yeah <laughs> this is one of the rare times you'll see me properly struggling because in my tutorials I'm like I'm very calm faced and everything but yeah I'm, I'm working out here um, <laughs> so yeah that's why I always work down because my muscles get more fatigued and then yeah I always work down and I try and keep the exercises relevant so if I am doing work down sets um, I basically always 
do exercises that will help to strengthen the move that I'm trying to achieve. So for example, now um, I'm, I've moved on to these piked leg lifts. Um, so again, <laughs> again, I'm struggling. That's the, I'm making all these faces because I'm struggling. Like these are difficult. These are hard at the best of times, even when you're fresh, but when you're fatigued, boy. So uh, yeah, but basically these again are basically just training that compression strength. They're building the strength in my hip flexors and in my core. And they are basically just really good for helping you because when you when you are doing your L-sit or your V-sit you're using a lot of uh, strength from your hip flexors and your core um, in a very specific way and this exercise helps to train your body to get used to holding that position in that very specific way so again just doing these workout sets again I find these a little bit easier than the L-sit so that's why I'm doing these now um, even though I could only get about three reps in um, but yeah they were still a little, little bit easier than the L-sit because as you can see I was struggling with that towards the end so so um, now I'm doing these stretches, I'm doing these uh, pipe stretches. I don't know what this stretch is called, but I know that it helps you build the flexibility to be able to do the V-sit. Um, and I'm just stretching out my hamstrings and my uh, calves here. Um, I'm trying to keep my back as straight as possible, even though it doesn't look like it, but I am trying. Um, and basically I'm the goal is to try and get your chest, I've, I've seen a couple of V-sit tutorials, and the goal is to try and get your chest down to your knees. So that's the end goal, that's where I'm trying to get to. Um, as you can tell my flexibility is pretty rubbish um, which surprises a lot of people because they, they think oh like you can do all these calisthenic skills but you, so you must be really flexible and it's like no I'm just using pure strength like this is the first calisthenic skill that I've actually actively had to train flexibility for so as you can see I'm not used to doing it uh, so this is new territory for me but I'm trying to do it because I really want to learn the skill um, and this is my last set um, I didn't want to do like loads I didn't want to do loads of clips of all of my sets because it's a pretty boring thing to watch but this is my last set and you can see that I'm, I've kind of gotten a little bit lower um, but again flexibility is not my strength and I'm not going to pretend like I know anything about flexibility really because um, I don't like this is all kind of I'm basically just going off of trial and error I'm going to watch some more videos and some more tutorials about stretching and flexibility to kind of help me um, and give me that edge but uh, yes I'm basically just trying to do what I can to try and get my knees to my chest which is the end goal so here we've got uh, a comparison between the first set and the last set uh, that I did. Um, again, you can just see that I got a little bit lower on the last set. So yeah, as my muscles started to kind of get a little bit warmer and a little bit stretchier, then I got down a little bit more. So here I'm doing another kind of piked compression kind of stretch. Um, basically just, again, stretching out the hamstrings and calves. Um, and I'm just trying to actively think about trying to get my chest to my knees, not pushing too hard because um, you can overstretch. Um, so yeah, I know that that's a bad thing. Um, so I don't, I didn't want to injure myself or damage myself. So yeah, I'm basically just uh, going to a level where I've, I feel the stretch and then yeah just holding it there because I know that over time I'll be able to get a little bit further so yeah that's where I'm at with my current training hopefully in the next few weeks I'll be able to get my chest a little bit closer to my knees I'll be able to deepen the stretches and I'll be able to get my legs a little bit higher with the v-sit um, and I'll be able to kind of uh, build the strength to be able to hold that v-sit uh, with better form and with more control guys just finished the workout if you enjoyed this kind of style of video then let me know in the comments below because like I said I really just wanted to make this kind of style of video just to impart some knowledge onto you guys uh, that might not necessarily come through in my other kinds of videos um, and yeah just do something a little bit different to again motivate you guys to continue training your skills because these skills do take a long time like I already said at the beginning I've been training this v-sit already for about two months now so yeah it's taken a while to get to where I am that's why I said at the beginning I really wanted to kind of film it from the very beginning but unfortunately the idea didn't occur to me so now I'm filming it so you're going to be able to see the progress from where I'm at now to one month's time when uh, the challenge between me and yoga with olive is done and then uh, yeah I'll do some side-by-side -side comparisons and all that kind of stuff and you can see the progress that's been made over that time um, like I said I'm going to be training the v-sit three times a week so I'll be making these road to v-sit videos uh, at the end of every week so that you guys can just be updated. I'm not gonna spam you with like daily videos going, oh, today I did this. No, I'm gonna do one video a week so that you guys, so the, the progression is a little bit more clear um, and also just so I don't spam out your, your inboxes with pointless videos. So yes, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you did. And obviously remember to share, like everything else and subscribe as well. Um, but yeah, hope to see you guys again soon. And I'm rubbish with outros, but yeah, hey. <laughs>